bright sunny afternoon here in uh, Udaipur guys last two days we've had some pretty shoddy weather but now it's uh, you know the sun gods have decided to bless us all over again and got an additional day because flight was cancelled last night uh, so got an additional 24 hours which I plan to spend wisely we are outside uh, charcoal restaurant which is one of the highly rated ones it's it's a barbecue restaurant and uh, the food is is supposed to be quite good i'll go inside and maybe uh, if the situation is conducive do a food review as well um, so this is what the building looks like from the outside it's a nice you know a baby sort of structure uh, so let me go and uh, see what it's like inside and uh, probably do a review cheers Got a bit of jugard going, guys. Uh, place the camera over my water bottle, and I'm just hoping it doesn't fall over backwards. Uh, got a KF pint here, uh, and ordered for lamb skewers and the chicken roulade. Um, just waiting for the food to come now. Um, the the smell of the charcoal getting heated is just wafting through the air. Uh, quite a nice view you can see jagdish temple in the background let me show you what it's like on the other side so that's the view of lake pichola with the lake palace there right in the middle you can see a boat in the water and all the way around the rest of the city it's quite scenic just goes to show that everything happens for the good guys uh, yeah. I was supposed to leave yesterday and my trip would have ended on a sour note because the weather wasn't the greatest yeah, as luck would have it I had to spend another day because all indigo flights were cancelled yesterday there was no option to, to change it for the same day and so got a flight today evening today night at the same time and uh, another 24 hours of bright sunshine to experience before i you know finish this trip better than it started i'm sure i will because i got a few plans then after lunch so uh, kind of excited knowledge it guys but sunlight itself is such a blessing you know having bright sunshine we we take it for granted but it really lights up our lives cloudy weather and the absence of light makes everything look bleak it's bizarre how that happens but the perception just completely changes when things are not in the right you know illuminated properly that that applies to life in general but more so with the weather
feel like I've come full circle now. I used to be someone who hated photographs being taken of me because I had to smile and now I can just leave the camera on for hours and just talk to it. So you get better with practice. Um, I guess it's just the desire to share experiences, you know. And we've seen so much YouTube that it's kind of become second nature now. I've seen all types of vloggers and decided what kind I want to be. Um, well, let's see where it takes me. I mean, the channel grows well and good, but if not, I kind of enjoy looking at myself. However, Modi esque or narcissistic that sounds, but that's the truth, and uh, there's no harm admitting it. Even the beer tastes better here, guys. It's just a KF, but tastes better than a bud. There is proper sunshine right now. I mean, last two days been pouring throughout, you know, incessantly morning to evening and the moment you step out, you know, it would get heavier. And now there's absolutely no trace of rain. Touch wood, it stays the same. I'm sure it will, I mean, it can't get worse all of a sudden. Even the forecast was good today, but haven't haven't been accurate. At least yesterday's was inaccurate. Okay. I'm staying at Ghost Ops Hostel there. Yeah. It's my last day. Yeah, but weather is nice. Too. Yeah, yeah, weather is nice. Thank it's, God. Thank God. Last year, and you can see the Tirupati. Horrible rain, yeah. Tirupati is like. Yes, yes, flooded. Nature. The whole country is raining. Huh? Most of the country is raining. Nature. Abhi. अपनी जगह दिखाता है जब हो सकता है आ जाऊँ कल आऊ दस साल बाद आऊंगी तो हाँ सब नाश करके That was the owner, nice sweet guy, you know, just had a quick chat, gave me permission to record. Always better to ask, it's polite to ask for consent, you know. Uh, it's my prerogative since I'm a customer, but if they're not fine with it, then you shouldn't be doing it. So it's going out in the public forum.
nothing else to say. I'll continue once the food's here. Just stop it for now. Continuing guys, uh, the camera is precariously positioned over an inverted wine glass which uh, was given to me for, for the beer but I haven't used it. Uh, the wind is blowing kind of hard, I'm scared it will knock the camera over but I guess I'll have to forget about that for the time being. Got oriental lamb skewers in front of me. Uh, smells divine, guys. I mean, I can't hold myself back. This smells so good. Uh, let me just take it off the skewer so I can eat it. Nice. Decent, like a civilized human being. Oh, wow. And I wish there was a way for the smell to be, <laughs> the fragrance to be teleported through the camera, but. We don't have technology for that as yet. They talk about AI and machine learning and whatnot. Uh, it's time to invent something useful. You know. <laughs> Getting a bit ahead of myself there. Uh, got some lime as well. Let me just. Spray like salt bay, and uh, it started. Let's try the tomatoes first before we get to the main event. Mm. Well roasted. The coal has charred the skin quite well. You get nice and juicy on the inside. And now try the onions. You guys must be like, just eat the damn lamb. I'll make you wait. So he's warned me that the lamb is going to be a, a way bit chewy because it's, it's barbecued and not not made into a gravy or anything so probably the juices don't get retained in the meat it smell, still smells great there's a bit of sauce on the side let me put some of that onto the plate now the first piece of lamb guys, let's look at that, uh, let's dip it in that white sauce, There's a specific sauce that was mentioned in the menu, uh, yeah I mean I looked it up, Ariol I believe it's called. Ioli, Ioli. That's so Wow. 
This might just be the best meal in Odepo that I've had, guys. Numero uno. Très bien. The onions nice and crisp. The charred skin has made it a bit sweeter. Like you get with fried onions. Mm. Juicy tomatoes. Wow. This is a hidden gem guys. This place isn't isn't on the top of the SEO listing. So I had to look, you know, through 40-50 entries to find to find it. But uh, just looking at the name it's called it's called charcoal by Carlson. I could tell that this is a sophisticated restaurant, you know. This isn't just a run of the mill place. And they surely know what good food is. Just moving the camera slightly away so I know how much is in the frame. I think we're good. The height seems to be in a better position to get more of the background and the whole of my face. I keep chopping my head off all the time. Not literally. The day has been special so far, guys. I mean, throughout the morning, it was nice and bright, wasn't raining. You know, uh, a bag and the other clothes I was wearing yesterday dried out. It's all sorted, you know, packed everything up. I had a virtual NGO event as well, which went very well. Didn't have network issues or anything. That went on smoothly, and here we are been very productive and given the weather in Bangalore I'm glad I'm not there right now I don't mean to sound arrogant but unforeseen circumstances you know it's just meant to be very good, very good. Thank you. Thank you. So, a little feedback for the owner. I mean, it's sweet of him to tell me that it's going to be chewy, you know. When it's not, it's actually not, but by his standards it possibly was. When people are brutally honest, you can tell their caliber. guys like I try lamb out wherever I go but something about this meat that <coughs> I've never had before Just 
an experience on your palate, you know. Just a burst of that, that typical grassy flavor that you get. It's also tough at the same time. It's not, it's not too succulent that you expect from lamb. So it's a different breed, guys. That's for sure. so pissed right now just a piece of tomato but I didn't want to waste it and that's how good the food is if the camera wasn't on I probably would have eaten it but you guys have seen that it's falling out so I can't do that Come to think of it, you know, there's only so much you can describe when it comes to food. It has to be experienced to be felt. First hand. Similar to travel. You can live vicariously and see it through the lens of another person, but you wanna really know. What, what what the deal is you got to check it out yourself So happy this is happening on the last day guys because my first day was, was top class you will note in the vlogs as they come out and then the weather and other factors sort of played out and I could see it was going on a, on a downward curve you know uh, not too drastic but the curve wasn't wasn't flat although you like to deny it and say that you know every day is different and whatnot but today is Tough competition for day one. That's that means a lot to me, you know. You want each day to be better than the last, you try to I mean you, you strive for that, but sometimes you just can't make it happen. Real starter, guys. <coughs> I hope I'm still audible with the with the BGM, but um, I should be fine. This picks up audio pretty well, and it's not front facing and you know, not not covering the sound receptors or anything. So should be good. I 
bizarre when the weather is cloudy you know how everything hinges on on one factor you can think plan so much you do x and y provided it doesn't rain you know everything is contingent upon that because you basically can't get out you know once you drenched and soggy and it's it's wet all around then everything scrappy it's nothing nothing to look forward to you tend to wonder whether you overhype the place uh for or you spoke too soon but it's not the case guys um it's two different things you know when and it's a normal day and uh, when it's rainy and it's just like negativity right it's leave out the nihilism and the pessimism when you can see when you can see the light literally and metaphorically is when you should judge something control lord na so here we have it guys the main course we are known that even service in the staff have been really sweet uh, you know kind enough to come clear the table and in time before the main course arrives uh, so yeah you can see i can got some portlayer sauce i believe this is some of the sauce that starts with b uh your fournier or some you know something on, on those lines your tomatoes with with some dressing on top uh could be uh the regular mint leaves and uh, these are the chunks of chicken and a lot of potato wedges around so start with the wedges dip in the sauce mm, wow try to perfection guys वॉल्यूम थोड़ा कम करो ना सर सॉरी बैट द वॉल्यूम टू बी रिड्यूस बिकॉज नॉट श्योर माई वॉइस इज गेटिंग थ्रू bit of a salad the white sauce this is some good stuff guys everything is good guess it's time to dig into the chicken now and the cashew filling inside said it's in the bit of a the sweeter side that's what it looks like
Wow, that's a complex flavor, guys. Bit of sweet, very tender. Meat is super tender. It smells in your mouth. You can get that cheese, slight, slight bitterness. Some of that cashew as well at the end. <coughs> Back of your throat. Lanes near Jagdish Temple near Lake Pachola. You can find world class continental food. Just gotta do research, guys. Everything's on Google. <laughs> you spend the more you'll find it is prepared fresh you can tell I mean no question whatsoever they take their time but better than getting something that has been prepared beforehand Plate is better than the other guys. <laughs> the sauces have a nice synergy. Gosh, someone's left the tap on and I thought it started draining. I mean, quite enough of that.
stuff there, guys. The cheese almost like paneer and cashew together. Unreal. Exquisite combination. Nice meal in itself, but sufficient, you know, ample amounts of carbs, proteins, and fats in the sauce. Quite wholesome. off slightly there as I was cutting through the meat. So what they've done is they've taken the breast and turned it around, made it like a sphere and then they've got stuffing in between that. So quite a detailed preparation.
density itself is you know, not too high in the sense that um, you don't have buildings more than five ten floors as you can find in these bigger metro cities and things so the moment you get on a decent elevation you can get an overview of the entire place that's quite nice I can see the mountains in the background or the hills I'll be tracking up one shortly to digest all of this How many adjective adjectives can you use without sounding phony and pretentious? I'll just you know refrain from doing that because I want to keep it genuine. Chef level stuff there, so I'll just say that. Finishing up those wedges. What's left of the sauce?
couple of trips to Biola. Wash that down. I just feel blessed, you know, to be able to handle work and be here and you know, have this extra day which was completely unplanned turning out to be the best of all uh, it's nothing better than just going out and exploring COVID and everything that's happened with the pandemic is is situation for, for sure uh, not anticipated but if you look at it as an opportunity there's a lot of freedom that you get you just got to use it wisely things like this may never happen for the rest of your lifetime not tipsy just you know when it tilted the the pint but yeah I mean I might be in a food coma guys that I am for sure <clears throat> I don't believe in ratings and all that crap to be to be honest but yeah if you're in the city then you're missing out if you don't visit this place that I'll say for sure so um, got about half the battery left and I need it to the next location That's it for now guys, signing out, peace.